This is so wild. ChatGPT4 can code crypto trading bots with ease. As you can see, I've been using it here and it wrote all this code for me. Like what is going on? I can't believe it. GPT-4 is unreal and the people that use it are going to experience mad growth in whatever they use it for. So I'm not going to be one of those traders or developers that says I'm better than AI because I know I'm not. And I know at the end of the day, this is just going to get better and better. And we're going to maybe get a little better, but AI? Are you kidding me? Look at all this code is written. So we're just going to keep working on this bot that essentially this AI, it looks at the VWAP, sees if we're above or below the SMAs, and then tries to buy near the VWAP. It actually tried to be buying right here. We don't have it live yet, but it's built all the code, and now we just kind of need to polish it. So I do want to encourage you, if you want a chance to win $500 USDC, I will be giving away $500 USDC on April 4th, 2023. So if you're watching that before then, all you have to do is subscribe and comment below and you'll be entered to win. Now, along with that $500, I'll probably be giving a couple admissions away to my algo trade camp where I actually teach this stuff step by step so you can turn any strategy into an algorithm. Now, in these videos like this one right now, I'm actually working on my day to day. So that's a that's a good and a bad thing, right? Because I go fast. It might be a little bad for you, but you know that this is actually real stuff that a quant is building in it in their day. So let's go ahead and see where we're at. And so now we, we have the PL per minute, and this bot is looking at the PL per minute. So let's go ahead and look at our position here. So our position, we are up two dollars and sixty nine cents three percent and I want to check out what the PL per minute is showing and you can see the PL is three point four nine percent as you can see here now the PL per minute is point zero two seven percent so position duration let's go to position duration so we can work on it a little bit position Duration is this. Let's see here. Position duration in seconds is that. Oh, here's the position duration in seconds. <clears throat> so this must mean, let's see here, position duration here is position duration. And then this is in the seconds. So let's say position duration let's make position duration duration here. Let's change that into that position duration in minutes. And then we'll say this, we'll paste that here, just like this. So per position, duration, and minutes will show us how many minutes we've been in the position. We'll just double check that makes sense. 131 minutes. So that means I've been in it for about two hours. Let's go ahead and look at our fills here. And you can see 10, 16. That looks about right to me. So this is correct. Now we're looking at the PL per minute. And we need to figure out what type of PL per minute do we want to close at and what do we want to enter at. So if PL per minute is less than the perk loss, or PL per minute is bigger than the perk gain, we want to create orders and close. The symbol is the amount. Now we want to make sure that this amount here is the same as the amount with within the actual position so let's go ahead and look at our get position let's see what type of code we have and i know i'm flying through this this is actually my day to day so if you want me to teach it i teach it inside the boot camp um yeah so that's it's one of the problems with me actually doing this live is 
sometimes I just go a little fast and I apologize for that. So we'll get the active symbols too here and all this codes in the bootcamp, so don't worry. And in order to get the active symbols DF2, we just need to call it. This is actually shows us the size as well here in PL close. So why don't we just use the PL close and it's 012. <clears throat> so let's do that. Let's go. We already called the PL close somewhere. Uh, where is it? Somewhere around here. Here we go. PL close. So let's just run PL info and we'll say. PL is PL info at the fourth position. And I can't remember what I said before, if it was two or whatnot. Size equals PL equal two, I believe. Let's go ahead and check it out. Go to definition. And you can see here, yep, zero, one, two is the size. Perfect. So here we want to actually update the size of the close to that like this and the cool thing is is chat gpt literally built all of this for us so like if you're a trader that is thinking about algo trading now is the time because we have ai that can write for us so i changed this to size by now if pnl per minute and let's make sure this is correct. PL per minute is smaller than PL per clause or bigger than PL per gain. We want to cancel all orders. Now let's make sure and then close the actual position. But let's make sure this works fully by seeing what the PL per minute is right now. So 0.025. And let's just put that in there as 0 0.02. And then we'll make the loss something close to it, like 0 0.15. And now it should try to get us out of the position, right? Unless we just went up or something, which we may have. Let's go ahead and run it again. Position closed. PL per minute. Did it actually close it though? Mm. Maybe I didn't put in the orders. Let's go ahead and look at that code. Scroll on down here. Position closed. So if side equals buy, so we cancel all orders. If side is buy, and ask price is not none. So it did, it seems like it just went straight to here. So most, both of these must have been showing as not, as not um, correct or something. So long, This passes back if it's long, so long will be true or false. Okay, we can do that. So what was that at three, I think? So we'll say long. Long equals PL info three. Info three. Now we'll go down here and say here if if long equals true equals true and ask price is not none. And then here it'd be long equals false. We're just changing up the code a little bit. So while ChatGPT gave me all of this code, I still have to be able to tweak it a little bit. So while some people say, you know, this is not coming for developers jobs and whatnot, they're somewhat right because it's not gonna be perfect. You have to be able to tweak it. You can see how much back and forth we've gone to build this algorithm out. And there's a bunch of other videos as well that we've been working on. But the, the thing is, is this is way faster than me trying to do it. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this order to submit. 
because last time it just went straight down here. Okay, look at this. Create only. Okay, post only. To create order. I got expect unexpected error. Let's just pass that in and see what ChatGPT has to say about it. Does not support the post only parameter. You'll need to update the place order and remove the post only parameter. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at this here. Because I know I use post only. Hmm, maybe not in this one. No. Let's see what this has to say here. Create order. Well, for now, let's just let's look at some of our old code because we I know for a fact we can use post only. Like that's that's a, a surety. So let's go to one of our other algorithms here. Maybe we'll just use our nice funks. Oh, it doesn't, okay, there it is. Post only. Maybe I just spelt, oh, time in force. That's what it is. That didn't work because it was, it gave us the wrong information. So as you can see, like it's not perfect, but it's powerful. Let's go to the create order section and all this code is in the boot camp so I know I'm flying through this I I do appreciate you kicking it with me but <clears throat> if you need all the code you can get that in the boot camp um, and I do want to encourage you to join that giveaway by commenting below and also subscribing and on April 4th I'm gonna be giving away that $500 so you know make sure to follow me on Twitter to see see the giveaway winner for sure but let's go ahead and run this now see if we can get that order to submit huh time and force invalid argument okay well let's go ahead and just try to remove it for now that is interesting because we use time and force all the time but <clears throat> maybe this time we won't Oh, now it's not over our PL per minute, so it's not going to close. Okay, let's just tweak this a little bit. Let's say 1.9. Now it's 1.7. Let's change it to 1.5. Okay. Perfect. So it submitted the order. Let's go here. Active positions. Where did it submit the order though? Interesting. Look how high it submitted the order. It submitted it up here and then just canceled it. Position closed. P and L of that. Okay. So we're going to remove that line because that's not the truth right there. remove that and place order at ask price so let's go ahead and see where we get the ask price let's go ahead and just get a new ask price ask equals ask bid for the symbol and then it's that and then we'll put it there um ask bid info we'll get both of them and then the ask will be equals ask bid info one and then the bid will be ask bid info two now if we're buying we need the bid so you can see i have to make changes it's not perfect but as i said it's better than me trying to do it by myself Oh, it got us out of the position. Huh. That is interesting. What did it fill at? 
maybe order price. Oh, maybe I just missed that and I didn't see it, but maybe the ask price was correct. So I think this algo now works. And yeah, I think this is pretty solid now. I think we can just run it. So I actually do want to update this a little bit. And let's just make this more like our old stuff. So let's just copy this here. Go to the bot and say every 29 seconds, schedule a running pending and it will be trade logic. So this is amazing. Like ChatGPT just built us a full algorithm from, from scratch. Import schedule. I just had to give it the idea and then kind of tweak things a little bit. So this should now work and maybe we'll run the bot schedule. Let's run it first. So it runs one time through, then it waits 29 seconds and runs again. Okay. PL per minute it says ETH PL. Position duration time. Interesting that it shows a position duration time still. I'm going to look into that. So I'm not quite done with this. I want to play with it a little bit more. And I want to see, I want to fix a couple of things. Not fix, but just test it. And then I'll put it all in the boot camp so you have access to the code as always. Let's go ahead and ask ourselves a question here. How to enter and why does it show entry time when no position? <clears throat> so I think those are two things where we can start off and figure out here. This is pretty amazing. I'm mind blown. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit the like. And if you want to join the, the giveaway, I'm giving away $500 to one lucky winner. All you got to do is subscribe and comment below. And then I'll also give away a couple entrants to this bootcamp because I know there's a lot of people out there that just can't afford it. And that's, I want to help out a little bit. So I'll give away two, two, uh, two entries to this and then also ask, uh, the $500 USD. So that's going to be fun. I look forward to it. All you got to do is comment and subscribe. If you want to just join the bootcamp and get the code for ASAP, then you can just click the link below. But other than that, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.